It's 7.30 p.m. at the National Museum of Natural History. The last members of the public leave, and all goes quiet. Tonight, Jeff Post will remove the Hope Diamond and subject it to an audacious experiment. The goal of doing this work isn't to try to dispel a curse. The goal is to learn about the Hope Diamond and its history and its origin. He and his team are about to do the unthinkable. Drill into the Hope Diamond to extract atoms and unravel its DNA. They're using a time-of-flight secondary ion mass spectrometer. It's an instrument more often used to test chemical substances, for example, for traces of steroids. They're about to open a window into a world more than a billion years old when the diamond was created. The instrument fires beams of tiny particles called gallium ions onto the surface of the Hope Diamond. The ions blast a crater, invisible to the naked eye, from which hundreds of millions of atoms are sucked back into the machine where they're sorted by weight and counted. That sounds a bit destructive. And in fact, it is a little bit of a destructive process. Blasting is perhaps too strong a word, but it gives you the idea. It'll be gouging or, or blasting a small, little tiny crater into the diamond. It will sort of drill down through the surface into the next several layers of atoms, knocking out some of those atoms and we will be making a very tiny little hole in the Hope Diamond. He hopes to finally reveal exactly what happened when the Hope Diamond was born.